Okay, today we have on the docket 256 SJW. We have the uh, destruction of the Johnson family today. I will be overseeing this destruction of the family. Over here this morning, I see that we have the lovely Mrs. Johnson. She's here today. You look very nice. You look you look radiant. Are you get is the government treating you well? Yeah, you're getting all kinds of goodies from the government. That's good. And uh, and how are how are the children? The children are good. That's good. Can I get you anything this morning, Mrs. Johnson? Perhaps the chamomile tea and a croissant? Would you like the chamomile tea? You would like the chamomile tea. Bailiff, make this uh, woman a chamomile tea immediately. And she will have the croissant as well with the chamomile. Would you like butter on your uh, your chamomile tea croissant? She would like butter on her chamomile tea croissant. So get that in order right away, bailiff, or I will take legal action against you as a man. Over here we have Mr. Johnson. It turns my stomach to even see you in this courtroom, Mr. Johnson. I, after what I did last time with IPVIA, you would think you would have committed suicide by now, eh? <laughs> we look, maybe you are tougher than I gave you credit for. Hmm. We will break you down over time, no worry. We have the case against the woman and the man. The woman? Man. Woman? Man. Woman? Man. I like to keep it simple like that, like I learned when I was the Minister of Women's Equity in uh, New Brunswick. It's funny that, you know, that is not considered a, uh, a uh, conflict of interest and a matter of bias, as they let me on the bench anyway. It's, it's a, it is not an elected position, you see. They just put me on the bench, you know. It's probably some backdoor things going on. We don't know. We, we could look into that, maybe. But at any rate, it is the man versus the woman. Uh, who do you think will win that? <laughs> I should not laugh. It's like Bon Jovi says, eh? He says, it's all the same, only the names will change. <laughs> John Bon Jovi should have been a judge in the family court system, New Brunswick, because he has hit the nail on the head. The nail has been hit on the head by Bon Jovi with that type of, uh, you know, uh, Philosophy, that legal argument and position. Only the names will change. Sometimes you tell the day by the bottle that you drink. I bet, Mr. Johnson. And if you do not drink, you will start drinking when I get done with you, Mr. Johnson. I have many families to destroy today. Please do not be wind long-winded. You know, if you can say nothing, it would be good. I have my mind made up already for you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Whatever your name is. Man. I have my mind made up on the man when I walked in the door today. You may present your case now. Are you done yet? You're still talking? Okay, I've heard enough. That's enough talking from the man. And over here to the woman? Yes, what do you have to say? I love when I hear the, the sound of your voice. I have heard the lack of evidence from the uh, from the applicant from the woman even though she has presented no evidence at all literally against you i will still just take her on word and i have heard nothing from the man because i don't even listen even when he talk there are two types of people in the world there's two types of people there are people who have the croissant and people who have the baguette if you have the baguette, you will not win in family court case. If you have the croissant, you will definitely win in the family court case. And that is as simple as that. I have the croissant, so I will win in the family court case. If you have the baguette, you do not win. Do you get it? It goes like that. That's basically the way I see, uh, see law from my, my uh, Harvard education and my deep 
uh, my deep experience in the field of the uh, family court system and the uh, ultimate goal of destroying the family. It is a very simple matter to me. It is the woman versus the man. And you can uh, probably guess which side I am on, eh? <laughs> yes, I bet you can. It does not take a Harvard degree in law to figure that one out, does it? No. It says here in the motion from the, uh, the respondent, the father, I hate saying that word. Soon we will get that, it will become illegal. We will take care of the word father. He gets to see the children, I believe. He says, uh, what, uh, one day a month? That seems a lot of time to me, you know. If this man continues to see his children one day a month, you know, they may get the impression that they, has, they have a father. <laughs> we cannot have this in the family court. I will take care of this immediate month. It says in the document from the man that you have been convicted uh, for drunk driving, you have the heroin addiction, you have done time in the uh, mental institution, and uh, you have been divorced four times. Now you are looking for full custody of the children, and I am granting this full custody to you effective immediately. The father has shown clearly in this case that he, he should not be able to see his children. It is a bad influence. I mean, he is a hard-working, uh, average person, citizen, who pays taxes and uh, who has no criminal record, no history of, of violence, no psychosis, no, no police records, no medical record, nothing. The man does not even have the speeding ticket. So, I mean, it clearly shows that he is, he is a bad influence on his children and must be taken from them immediately. So that's exactly what we will do today in, in the court. Where is my pen? This is my pen. Out of my pen, the power goes. The power, it starts down here where the cartridge goes into the pen. When you buy the cartridge and you put it in the pen, the, the cartridge goes down to the end. Then you click the pen and the power comes out of the pen onto the piece of paper. And today, Mr. Uh, Mr. Johnson, man, today I will put the power out of the pen against you, Mr. Johnson. So we will take the children from you now, Mr. Johnson. It's for the better of the children, right? <laughs> sure it is. The better of the children. I like to use that one because that is like the scapegoat. You can do anything you want, you can say. And I mean, I can say anything I want anyway. But, you know, to make it look kind of passable and kind of good, you know, I can say that, uh, you know, it's for the better of the children. Everything I want to do. <laughs> you get to see the children once every 10 years for the better of the children, eh? <laughs> you can fight this in court for years and years and years. And they will lose, Mr. Johnson, because I will always be there. If you need anything, you come to see me, I will make sure and hand you your ass, Mr. Johnson. Now, to be very clear, this is not the personal thing. I, do, I have no idea who this person is personally. I do not want to know who this person is personally. I am talking about the professional aspects of this person. Okay? So that's what we are addressing in these videos. This video series will be very good. Eh? Two eggs side by each. Destroy the man, huh? I look forward to seeing you in the future and uh, hopefully if you're a man I will get the chance to destroy you in court someday So I look forward to that and you can sleep at night knowing that I am out there waiting for you to destroy your family So you have a good day and uh, all the best until you see my next uh, program, okay? All right, you take care for now and uh, see you in court I've got my eye on you and uh, you watch out for the IPVIA will get you come to get you with the IPVIA act Thank you. Have a good day